On the 2nd of May 2022, 60-year-old Elgin, Illinois resident Brian Peck was sentenced to spend the rest of his days behind bars for murdering and dismembering his 76-year-old mother Gail Peck before dumping her remains. On the 27th of October 2017, Brian reported his mother missing after she failed to return to a Littleton trail home after taking a dog for a walk the day before. The authorities conducted an extensive search in the area for her on foot, ATVs, helicopters and air drones, with members of the community assisting. The authorities then searched Brian's home later that evening and found blood in Gail's bedroom, the bathroom, the washing machine and the underside of a steam cleaner. Gail's remains were found on the 28th of October and on the 31st, the authorities gathered enough information to arrest and charge Brian with his mother's murder. Brian confessed to killing his mother at around 3.30 in the morning on the 25th of October, but claimed he did so in self-defense. He said his mother became furious when he repeatedly played Jimi Hendrix music loudly in the middle of the night, and she walked towards him with a large knife and asked him to leave. He said he swept his mother's leg, which sent her falling to the floor. He then stomped on her head and throat until she died. He then withdrew money from his mother's account and purchased cleaning supplies. On the 26th of October, he placed Gail's body into a bathtub and proceeded to dismember her body using a saw. He placed her head and arms into garbage bags and tossed them into Lake Michigan. He then placed her torso and legs into a duffel bag with bricks and threw it into Lincoln Park Lagoon. On the 28th of October, a fisherman hooked onto the bag in the lagoon and discovered the remains and contacted the authorities. A duffel bag was traced back to a shop where Brian was seen on CCTV two days earlier, purchasing an identical bag. After a medical examiner identified the remains to be Gail, Brian was arrested. When sentencing Brian, the judge said what kind of human being could look at their mother and dismember her body like that. The judge said that Brian had irretrievable depravity, and listening to him testify how he sawed his mother into pieces, all with no emotion whatsoever, was the worst of all. 42-year-old Latonya Bell and her 8-year-old daughter Havana Pipkins have drowned after Latonya deliberately drove her SUV into the Elk River in Sutton, West Virginia. The incident occurred at around 2.30pm on the 1st of May 2022, when volunteer firefighter 24-year-old John Forbush, who was about a mile away, received a call over the radio and went to the crash scene on State Route 4 to help. While there, John radioed to dispatchers that there appeared to be victims inside the submerged vehicle. He jumped into the near freezing water and attempted to save them, but died while doing so. Rescuers got the driver out, even though it appeared she tried to weigh herself down, but her heart had stopped. They freed the girl too, but she went under on the way to the shore. Havana and John's body were later recovered as more rescuers arrived. Investigators say they believe the mother and daughter died in a murder-suicide, and John died in the line of duty. Three women have been arrested in connection to a child abuse investigation at a daycare centre in Lexington, South Carolina. 36-year-old Shana McKnight is charged with infliction of great bodily harm upon a child, while 38-year-old Amy Grice and 49-year-old Jeannie Locklear are charged with obstructing justice. The investigation into the matter started in May of 2022, when a child's mother was contacted by the Windsor Academy Child Development Centre, explaining that a child's leg was hurt in the railing of a crib. A doctor later determined that the child had a broken leg. When the authorities asked to review surveillance footage, Amy and Jeannie told them that the camera system wasn't working when the child was injured. Detectives managed to recover the video, and determined that both women intentionally deleted it after watching it themselves. The video showed Shana forcefully folded the child's legs under the child's body and flipped the child into a crib while holding the child's left leg. A review of the video showed the child crawling and playing without any visible pain before the incident, then crying and unable to put weight on the leg afterwards. All three women were arrested on the morning of the 29th of April and held in custody at the Lexington County Detention Centre.